playing. We're checking out the only game where you can forcibly shove so many engines into a jet plane that it's basically committing a sex crime. It's X-Plane 11. So I found out that obviously you can take your engine power and bring it up to like a million pounds of thrust per engine, but I also learned something very interesting that you can change legitimately every single part of the plane. One of the things that you can do is somehow you can shove seven extra engines inside of a plane. You could put like more props on planes and stuff like that. We'll do that in a little bit. For right now, I've placed seven extra jet engines inside of this seven 37. The 737, it's like the little sister of the 747. And see, the 737 is going on its very first date. And like any caring brother, I want to make sure that she takes my gun with her. I wasn't really that accurate when I put in all the dimensions for the seven extra engines. Um, so this may take off really fast or it may end up doing donuts on the runway. But hey, if so, it'll be my first time doing donuts in the 737. Here we go. Oh yeah, listen to that baby purr. Oh Christ. I haven't even taken the brakes off yet. <laughs> well, this is less than optimal. Look at the amount of dirt it's kicking up from the runway. Look at the amount of like distortion it's throwing into the air. How many engines does it take to have a good time on an airstrip? All of the goddamn engines. Imagine you're over in your tower doing your thing, being a professional, making the big bucks, when all of a sudden you look out your window and you see this. I love how grandpa's rolling up over here in his Volkswagen. He's like, Stella, turn the goddamn car around. They're doing the crack cocaine over in this airport. I like that it's like tire blown. Yeah, you think? Please don't show this again. It's going to be happening a lot. That's right, passengers. I hope you're all enjoying your $220 Gravitron ride. If anyone feels their right lung brutally assaulting their left lung, just let me know. Part of me wonders if this thing flies any better when it's already in the air. Yeah, uh, go ahead and get me lost because no one's gonna wanna find this. Oh yeah. Oh, it's flying, flying like a dream right now until the engines kick on. Okay, idle speed, it's actually not that bad. I guess let's see what happens when we kick it up a notch. Oh God. It's fine. I can actually make this work. We're doing it. We're do oh she okay we're upside down but we're still technically doing it so uh shortly before my pilot threw himself out of the cockpit he mentioned something about uh feeling the violating fist of the tax man entering his rectum searching for the money that it costs to run the eight engines in this thing i feel like we're doing very very inappropriate things to the air right now oh god oh it's fine we're just doing a flip okay i've got good news and i've got bad news the good news is we're not doing donuts the bad news is i can't Stop being upside down. Oh, this is perfect. We're actually coming in for a fantastic landing. We're doing it upside down. Oh, shit. I spoke too soon. All right, just let it down nice and... Am I hovering? What the hell is happening? All right, everyone. We're going to go for an aquatic landing here. Is that a boat over there? Hold on. Come here. I want to ruin your marriage. I don't know why I'm putting the landing gear out for a water landing, but whatever. Never mind. The landing gear doesn't want to go down. That's fine. We'll do this the old-fashioned way. Surf's up, bitch. Was that a girl in a bikini? Oh, Lord Jesus. What have I found out here on the seven seas? She's like, I used to look a lot better before your engines fused my tank top to my skin. So, um, I started messing around with this 747 over here. I, I don't really know what happened, but now there's an exacto knife coming out of the nose. Four engines. Not goddamn good enough. Um, yeah. Oh, that's what that is. You know what? I actually kind of like it there. Kind of put it like that. Okay, this time my plan is I'm going to give the engines, you know, equal amounts of force. Somehow we've got, you know, four extra ones kind of chilling out. Right, I'm going to leave the maximum thrust where it is. You, you got to start from somewhere, okay? And the fact that we can penetrate anyone that opposes us is good enough for right now. I'm not going to lie. I can't wait to put like eight props on a plane. Got to make sure to save often here. Oh 
God, this is fantastic. I've made the unicorn of 747s. You got uh, like James Big Diculous over here. He's like, what is one giant leap for mankind? Meanwhile, his 18 year old co-pilot Kyle is over here. Kyle's like, I really should have majored in hospitality. I just thought about this too. If this is supposed to be like an engine or something like that, wouldn't it be basically liquefying everyone inside the fuselage? Add ah, details. All right, boys, the plane is already kind of like wobbling. <laughs> Breaks off. Let's do this. Honestly, other than the fact that there's an engine clipping through the left wing of the plane, it feels pretty good. God, I can't wait to take this unicorn horn and shove it into someone. Oh, sweet. We can grab a parking spot over at Walmart. God, it's... It's so majestic. <laughs> Once again in the tower, the guy is like, what the hell is that? I hadn't really thought about it, but this kind of obstructs my field of vision. I've often thought about what the pilot tells, like, the passengers and what the pilot tells the co-pilot. You know, inside the pilot's like, All right, everyone, we're gonna be dealing with a little bit of turbulence as we go ahead and uh, come in for landing. Meanwhile, between him and the co-pilot, he's like, Fuuuuck! All right, if I can land this, we're gonna be taking all the engines up to one million pounds of thrust. Okay, let's, let's not hit the building. All right, kinda, kinda cut that building's hair a little short. No big deal. If I can, if I can land this on the freeway, that would be fantastic. Oh, sh okay, we lost two engines, but I got six more. All right, y'all ready for this? Watch this. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Landed it. Mm-hmm. That is a six out of ten. And there you go. And remember to leave a uh, five-star rating over on Yelp. Imagine telling your insurance company that, like, a very phallic 747 took part of your house off. Most of the engines are inside of this house. These people are getting their bacon well done. All right, Unihorn. Let's, uh, let's do some extra stuff here. Yeah, all that. You know what? Afterburners. Why not? Don't really know what happens if you increase the compressor area. More RPMs. No. All right, now let's see how it does. I just noticed you can violate the fuselage. Can you, can you like give it liposuction? Yeah, that would look good. Nothing like boarding a plane that already looks like it's been in a violent accident. Hold on, can I make it like way shorter? God, there's so many nodes over here. Ah, whatever, I'm sure it'll be fine. Bring the cockpit down to there. Now everyone gets an open air cockpit. Oh, it looks the same. I've never been so disappointed. All right, let's see how the million pounds of thrust in eight different engines does. Okay, I have so much lift that I actually can't point the jet down. Oh, this was a bad idea. Oh, the wings are starting to rip off the plane. On the plus side, we have so much thrust that we can absolutely climb at a 90 degree angle. So, um, I've got bad news. Uh, the engine's all stalled. Uh, the good news is, is that when we hit the ground with this thing on our nose, we're probably going to end up somewhere in the Earth's core. I like how the landing gear just decided to randomly come out now. Nope. Never mind. Landing gear's a lying whore. Get penetrated! Oh, I penetrated it so hard that someone gets to keep that tip there as a souvenir. All right, Cessna, you look like you could use some updating. Props, one. Rookie numbers, eight props. Like, if you make a 13-foot prop, will it show up? Yeah, I don't want to go too extreme. These ones will only be 10 foot. I think I can see the beginning of some horrible glitching artifacting happening right here. All right, give him some RPMs. Oh, you can make the props. This thing's not going to be a Cessna. It's going to be like a flying Ginsu knife. We're going to be slap chopping the sh** out of some people. Oh, these extra blades show up. Look at when you can have the 99 blades. <laughs> Okay, I've decided I want all these spinning at exactly the same speed. I want the perfect symphony of death. I feel like 180 horsepower doesn't really define exactly what we're doing here. 101,000 horsepower, more goddamn like it. All right, go ahead and save this real quick. If this thing loads without immediately crashing the game, it's gonna be a miracle. I love that the props are going right through where the cockpit is. All right, I guess let me... Holy shit! Oh my god, I went through the planet! Well, you crashed. Yeah, really. <laughs> this is the last thing you see before you die. I mean, I, I hate to say this, but maybe I was a little too aggressive. That pilot, right before he was immediately blended, was like, you think? All right. <laughs> Here we are. Uh, okay, new plan. We're doing it! We're doing it! <laughs> Look at this hideous beast! 
I haven't even turned up the RPMs yet because they're not where they're supposed to be. It's pulling the plane so hard. When there's so many blades that you can't actually see the pilot, that's when you know. I can't even see out of the cockpit. Hold on, can I do, can I do a bird strike on all these props? Oh my God, it worked. All these birds are like, you son of a bitch. This is the best plan I ever made because I can kill like 10 times as many birds with it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put this down nice and soft. Nice and soft, perfect. Okay, I mean, I guess this was always meant to happen. Oh my God. So what do you, what happens? Oh, oh, of course. This, this is the most hideous being that has ever existed on X-Plane 11. The question is, can it fly or will it destroy the physics of the game? It's so adorable. It's like a baby bird, but like a baby bird that likes stabbing people. This is the homeless, stabby, violent brother of the Cessna. I call this Cessna Stick'em Steve. Let's do this. Gotta make sure to save this one. All right, Tyler, guard your nipples because... <laughs> Oh my god. What does this look like from the tower? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, you're clear for takeoff because quite honestly, I don't want the finger of God going through my air tower. All right, boys and girls, moment of truth. Oh, look at the prop turn. The game would even work. What the? Whoa. I, I, I. <laughs> what is this? The curvature of the earth? I think we just got launched into the stratosphere. We're in like the solar system. Oh my God, the game's not responding. Well, um, I think we just broke the time space continuum. If there's one thing I learned, it's that if you put 200 foot propellers on a Cessna, the Cessna will absolutely call you a dick. This is cool. We actually managed to make the earth go supernova with that. Okay. I had to settle for 140 feet. 200 foot is too, too big. The game can't handle it. Can you see the edge of the block out here? Okay, I've loaded into the game. The game works. I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to drive this thing. Here we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's working fantastic. Hey buddy, how you feeling? He's like, like I have whiplash. I'm not gonna lie, the jiggle physics in this game are no joke. This is a, uh, fantastic representation of the best plane <laughs> ever made. The Cessna is for you, baby. I mean, it's like a 140 foot prop. I gotta do it. <laughs> it's every suicidal bird in all the world. They've all <laughs> congregated to this one spot. Don't push now, there, there's enough prop for everyone. Here we go. <laughs> yes. See, that's, that's not actually fire that's surrounding the plane. That's the souls of the birds. Hey, L5 Sentinel 186, you shut the hell up. I'll cut you from way up here. I'm not gonna lie. This doesn't look very safe. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. oh, God. The engine, I don't, I don't think it's actually powerful enough to keep this prop turning. Oh no, it's slowing down. You can actually see this hideous creature now. I love how the original prop looks so underwhelming. It's sitting here, it's like, it's not the size that counts. Oh, it absolutely is. So this is kind of interesting. Um, we're completely without power right now, but because of the airflow, it's like doing like a counter rotation, <laughs> like a helicopter. So we're actually gonna come down very, very softly. It's not really gonna matter because this guy's body will be a gelatinous mass. But I mean, other than that, the plane isn't gonna crash into the ground. I like how this gives me like a, a slight semblance of being able to control the plane. It's one giant lie. This prop controls everything. Well, I wanted to make this thing fly and it flew. So I guess I'm gonna call it a win. I have to take a little time to wipe off all the bird DNA that spread across the prom. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of X-Plane 11. Until next time, stay foxy and much love.